بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مشاهدينا الكرام أهلا وسهلا بكم بهذه التغطية الحية والمباشرة هنا من المملكة البلجيكية وعاصمتها بروسل وذلك في تغطيتنا مشاهدينا الكرام لمارجان سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد النهيان العالمي للخيول العربية الأصيلة في موسمه السادس مشاهدينا الكرام هذا المهرجان مختص بكل شؤون الخيول العربية الأصيلة ليس فقط في سباقات السرعة وأيضا في سباقات القدرة مشاهدينا الكرام سوف ننقل لكم على الهواء مباشرة الجولة الثانية عشر بطولة العالم لسمو الشيخ فاطمة بنت مبارك للسيدات والجولة العشرة مشاهدينا الكرام لكأس المغفور له بإذن الله تعالى كأس الشيخ زايد بن سلطان النهيان مشاهدينا الكرام 11 متسابقة 11 فارس وفي شاركا في بطولة العالم لسمو الشيخ فاطمة بنت مبارك للسيدات بمسافة 1000 متر أما بالنسبة لكأس المغفور له بإذن الله تعالى كأس الشيخ زايد بن سلطان النهيان ثمانية متشاركين لمسافة 1800 متر مشاهدينا الكرام المرشحين كثر والتنافس أكيد سوف يكون على شد وفد كبير من دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة متواجد هنا مشاهدينا الكرام في هذه الأجواء الباردة نوعا ما في للمشاركة الخيول طبعا مشاهدينا الكرام كما عودناكم وبعد طول الغياب ينضم إلينا ديريك تومسون محل قناة أبوظبي الرياضية في سباقات الخيول I said in Arabic after a long time Derek you are back with us on Abu Dhabi Sports Channel Derek you left me three races Hello. I'm so, it's been so busy we had the Prijak de Marwa a big thoroughbred race over a mile yesterday Deauville which is about an hour and a half that way if you go drive in one of your fast cars and it was won by a horse called Kingman owned by Prince Khalid Abdullah of Saudi Arabia and the horse won so well they say he's the new Frankel the new wonder horse and a couple of weeks ago we were all at Newbury Sheikh Hamdan had his big group day there were three group ones and it was a fantastic day and Sheikh Hamdan of course had three winners in the blue and white applet so we've been very very busy but it's great to be here nice uh, so you are busy all the time Derek tell me about all your latest move these are new news nice news on Abu Dhabi Sport Channel but your moves what were you doing well we've been all over all over the world recently but the, the best thing is today I brought a very good friend of mine Bob Champion who won the Grand National in 1981 if anybody does remember he recovered from cancer rode the horse and won and then turned it into a film so he's here today and he actually rode here would you believe he rode two winners here a long time ago but we've got a bit of thunder and lightning above exactly. be because the North Sea is 200 meters that way yeah. now normally when the sun shines everyone's on the beach and you and I were both jogging on the beach this morning yeah, yeah. athletes we? and I tell you it's incredible now his excellency the ambassador is here and he's just told me of course that Emirates are going to be start flying to, to Brussels so that is incredible and Great also, news. and Michael Jackson you remember the late great Michael Jackson he once appeared here and there were thousands of people and I'm just thinking we've got thousands here tonight despite the weather and they're looking forward to a great night and I think it's thanks to the sponsorship of the United Arab Emirates who brought the good jockeys brought the good horses it's brought the people it's very important when like big 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 celebrities when they come to these places is make the place live again and keeps on living and people going and coming it's very interesting I was in Haydock the other day which is a race course in Britain الشباب في أعلى مستويات المنافسة ضمن دورة الألعاب الأولمبية للشباب في نانتشينغ دورة الألعاب الأولمبية نانتشينغ 2014 على قنوات مطابق الرياضية نأخذكم خارج الحلبة وخلف الكواليس في البطولة القتالية الأبرز في العالم الجوانب الشخصية لكل مقاتل أسرار التمارين الخاصة وتغطية مميزة لكل خطايا البطولة العالمية المجلة الخاصة التي تقدم لكم كل ما يتعلق باليو اف سي في هذه الأوقات على أبوظبى الرياضية Lovely horse. Do you remember when we were in San Moritz? Yeah. 
That's the horse that won in Sam on, on the, the white turf. Well, it's green turf tonight, so it's a little bit different. We've also got Sartigiano, who's ridden by the Omani rider, Fatima Almanji, who is superb. I think that's got a great chance. A Nabucco, ridden by Michel Blumer, and that's got a good chance for Germany. Two interesting little tidbits here. Attila de Ruiz, the British challenger, has got problems steering. Now, it's a straight race, but sometimes when you, it's not like a car where you turn, so when you pull there, he goes right, he goes left, goes right. So they're trying a new bit tonight, which hopefully will keep the horse straight. And one of the most interesting jockeys, the lady jockeys, some of them are students, some of them are teachers, but one girl, Justin Messier from France, is a stonemason. So she has a, a hammer and a chisel and cha 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 She's a stonemason. Incredible. You are talking about the be kind of new technique or new bit. You are saying they're going to try it here. Like new things when you put it into sports, in any sport, Derek, football, soccer, uh, basketball, it's a bit maybe it won't work out so what do you think about it if you don't try it you won't be able to find out it's used in show jumping it's used in cross country and very interesting by the way we had the equestrian uh, riders here from belgium because the world championship coming up in the next few days starting in normandy and france and they've just announced them and we've got some of the greatest riders in the world here tonight joss lansick one of the former world european champions so they've just been announced so the belgium team looks strong but that's for the world equestrian games show jumping equestrian all that sort of stuff so stacks look forward to there but yeah have a bit try it a bit different they've tried it in show jimmy it works why not try it in racing اوكي اذا مشاهدينا الكرام نتابع الان الخيول تتواجد هنا في ساحه العرض في البادوك استعدادا لسباق بطوله العالم لسمو الشيخه فاطمه بنت مبارك للسيدات مشاهدينا الكرام طبعا الخيول الان هنا وقت الاستعراض الاخيره الدقائق الاخيره قبل الانطلاق لسباق بطوله العالم لسمو الشيخه فاطمه بنت مبارك للسيدات في الجوله الثانيه عشر طبعا مشاهدينا الكرام اي واز توكينج تومو ذات ناو ذي سينج ذات ذي هورسز ار ان ذا بادوك جيتنج بريبيرد فور ذا minutes and the race are going to start so let's talk about Fraser Cossack most of the people here saying he might win written by Ali Emerskog she's never ridden the horse before she's from Sweden how will she get on here she's never ridden over the flying five islands this is why this Shaker Fatima series is so good it gives the girls the chance to get on a big horse and it gives them the incentive of winning and coming to Abu Dhabi it is an absolutely superb thing but remember five furlongs some might go too fast If you're not up there, you're not going to win. They'll be doing speeds of about 30 miles an hour. So this is going to be fast. And the jockey's now getting mounted. Just look at the color behind us. It's, it's one of the great sights. This. this is what I love about horse racing. It's great, isn't it? It's amazing. And you made me remember also we had a good time in London when we covered the uh, endurance. Also, the girls, they are doing very good job in endurance. They, that endurance girls are absolutely superb. Well, remember, one of them actually won. It, it's superb. Uh, you know, if, if a girl played a man at tennis, she wouldn't beat him. But if your girl takes on a man in racing, show jump, they can. And that it's, it's, the, it's the only sport in the world where men and women can compete equally successfully against it. It's the battle of the sexes. I think it's absolutely superb. That's why I love it. Exactly. Uh, I was with you in one of the races. I don't remember which race. Sartigano did a good job. I think yes. Sartigano is a big threat for Cossack. I think the Omani jockey, Fatima Almanji, has got a good ride here. Nabucco also is a good horse as well. But you can never tell. A lot of these horses are coming back in trip. They've been running over six furlongs, seven furlongs a mile. They dropped to five furlongs. It's like 100 meters in the athletics. Some of them have been running over 400 meters, if you like, in athletics. Now they're back to 100. So you've got to go right from the word go. As soon as the starting stalls open and go, whoosh. They'll be going. The sweet girl behind you, she's a big fan. She ran away now. She wanted to say hi, that girl. Oh, I <laughs> she, she, yeah. Yeah, she was. So now, uh, Tomo, you said it's uh, like a sprint. Uh, you can't blink in this uh, race. True. So every second, as soon as the gate opens, is important. 60 seconds it will take. If your horse 665, it ain't going to win. It's slow. But it's going to be it's gonna be over like that. The later race is over nine furlongs, 1,800 meters, a mile and a furlong, if you like. That's over one complete circuit of the track. They've got themselves time to sort themselves out as well. And a girl jockey could win that. So a girl jockey is going to win this. I wonder if a girl jockey could win the big race later on as well. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's good. So we said uh, Sheikh Fatma bin Mubarak race 14 leg. Mm. 13 is coming in Poland, and, I'm, and you will be with me in Poland. You will definitely be in Poland, and then all the winners of all around the world go straight to Abu Dhabi in November. We'll be live every day. Every day. But in Abu Dhabi, it will be a big day. The oh, yes. number ones, 14 number one. 
or maybe 16 it could reach to a big tough race and also don't forget we've got the world apprentice championship exactly. as well and Jeremy the lad from South Africa won it last year exactly. it's absolutely yeah. superb yeah. this series gives the chance for the young people the young jockeys the lady jockeys yeah, exactly. to come and get prominence and that's what it's about you talk about the apprentice now the apprentice started this uh, year uh, with five races what do you think about how important are for the apprentice to participate in these kinds of races without a doubt it is the best way we could see a new Frankie de Toro. we could see you know a future champion a Christophe Soumillon they've got to start somewhere but they need the experience they can't just be good in the morning on the training grounds they've got to be good on the big occasion it's like playing at Wembley on the big occasion they've got to do it they've got to take those nerves and really do it so it's not just the horse ability the jockey's ability it's pressure and when the pressure's on as it will be in Abu Dhabi that's when the star will shine so usually when you go to the commentating yes. booth, yes. Uh, you need time. Is it here far? Or? Can I go now? <laughs> is it, can I go, is, sir? Is it near? No. It is near because okay. they're going down. Yeah, you can go. You can. Is that all right? Thank you very See much. See you later, big fella. See you later after the race. I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> Thank you very much. If you are watching the show, the director of the show, after the show, the show will be released from the show of 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 the ثلاثة مرشحين ولكن أبرز المرشحين لهذا السباق فريزر كوساك وأيضا الحصان سارتيغانو طبعا على ظهر سارتيغانو الفارسة العمانية المعروفة فاطمة المنجد الفنانة كل التوفيق في هذا السباق أما بالنسبة لليوم تحدث أن اليوم سوف كان يوم طويل والسباقات أكثر من رأى في هذه الأجواء الباردة تحدث أيضا أن ألف سباق ألف متر نوعا ما هو سباق السبرنتر سباق السرعة تقريبا يعني مدة السباق ماكسيموم يعني الحد الاعلى بالنسبه لهذا السباق هو 60 ثانيه يعني اي دقيقه واحده مشاهدينا الكرام بعد لحظات سوف ينطلق السباق سباق بالنسبه سباق بطوله العالم لسمو الشيخه فاطمه بنت مبارك للسيدات بمشاركه 11 فارس السباق الثاني سوف يكون كاس المغفور له باذن الله تعالى كاس الشيخ زايد بن سلطان ال نهيان طبعا ابرز المرشحين كما تحدثنا مشاهدينا الكرام فريزر كوساك مرشح وايضا سارتيغانو على ظهر سارتيغانو هناك فاطمه المنجي مشاهدينا الكرام بعد الفاصل سوف يلتقيكم ديريك تومسون المعلق الذي سوف يرافقهم للتعليق على مجريات سباق بطولة العالم باسم الشيخ فاطمة بن مبارك للسيدات في في جولتها الثانية عشر بعد الفاصل إلى ديريك تومسون وأفضل النجوم سنأخذكم بجولة على أهم هذه الأماكن من حول العالم في برنامج مواطن المجد على قنوات بوظب الرياضية All right, so just be very careful and it looks like uh, number eight, Cobra so just watch out because we have a loose horse. So we're going to try and catch that loose horse so the uh, race can be started. And uh, hopefully the jockey is going to be all right. But the horse, as you can see, is now running rideless around the other side of the track. And that means the horse will be very, very tired and possibly have used too much energy. So let's just see if Cobra is going to run. Meanwhile, the other 11 are making their way down towards the start for this race. If you're uh, watching on the big screen on the right, there's Frasser Cossack, whose half-brother runs in the next race. Wouldn't it be something if those two could both win. On the left is Palmer T, Kathy Fortune from Norway, 25 years of age. Riding Frasser Cossack is Ali Emerskog from Sweden. She's a student from Stockholm. In the blue and red diamonds just behind, Attila de Ruiz, ridden by Rachel Leishan, representing Great Britain. Here comes the loose horse. Watch out. Coming down the track, the loose horse. Now be very careful here. Watch out for the loose horse. This is going to be dangerous. Trying to stop it, but the horse is away. Steady. Well, careful. Well, the horse has now done a complete circuit of the track, and I hope someone can catch him he's going around again 
Meanwhile, let's concentrate on the others as they go down to the start. The pink with the white seas and blue cap is Sadajano, ridden by Fatima Almanji from Oman. Very good jockey, 26 years of age. She's ridden 11 winners. Right behind this in the green with the white sleeves is Shema Karabia, ridden by Lucia Gelabert from Madrid in Spain. She's 22 years of age, and she is a teacher in Madrid. So that's the scene here as the runners approach the start. Well, 10 of them are, but one is missing, and that is Cobra, who's going round without the jockey. And the jockey's Ale de Batoli from Italy, who's a student in Venice. And I hope she's all right. No, but the horse is still galloping headlong. And obviously, if the horse is caught and takes its chance, it's going to very much detract from the horse's ability to win the race. So we'll have to wait and see whether this horse is allowed to run again. The horse is coming back. Have they caught him? Oh, he's gone through. He's now coming into the parade ring. Be careful now for people in the grandstand. You can't see this on TV, but the horse is now coming into the parade ring. And this could be very dangerous. Just careful now for people in the parade ring. You can't see this on TV, but he's now in the parade ring. And I hope they can catch the horse because otherwise he is going to be causing a problem they've caught him they've got him he's okay they have caught cobra and he's all right well done well done to the man who caught him but whether the horse is going to be allowed to take part he's covered two of the tracks and he's obviously two circuits of the track and he's obviously a bit uptight so i'm waiting for news on whether that horse is going to be allowed to run. Meanwhile, the others are down at the start for a Heine Shaker Fatima Mid-Mubrak Ladies World Championship. We started off in Oman back in January. We've had races all around the world, and this is the second last. We're in Poland next week in Warsaw. The race is there, and the winner of each round goes forward to Abu Dhabi in the second week of November for the amazing final, where we also have the final of the World Apprentice Series. And these two races give young jockeys and lady jockeys the chance to take their stage on the big stage and stake their claim. There's a couple of professional jockeys in this, but the others are amateurs. They have day jobs, but they all get up early and they all ride out every morning in the early hours. So they're down at the start for a Heine Sheikha Fatima Bint Boombrak Ladies World Championship. 11 runners, or would it be 10 runners? It's over the flying five furlongs. And of course, these horses are all purebred Arabians. And Arabians' horses, well, they are the horses who sired thoroughbreds. Every thoroughbred running in the world today is descended from a purebred Arabian. And it's lovely to see the people in Abu Dhabi, the Sheikh of Fatima and Sheikh Zayed and also Sheikh Mansour supporting these races around the world. We go to America, we go to Sweden, we go to France, we go to, you name it, we go to Britain. And it gives people a chance to see these purebred Arabians who are so good. They race over five furlongs, they race over a hundred miles. They're a very tough breed indeed. Thoroughbreds couldn't do that. And look at the crowd we've got here tonight. There we are. If you're live, give us a wave. If you're on the big screen, give us a wave. We're watching live. In... There they are. We're watching live. Give people in Abu Dhabi a big wave. Hello. We're live in Ostend. And it's a bit wet and it's a bit cold. I bet it's a bit hotter in Abu Dhabi and Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. Good luck, guys. Enjoy. Jack Jones on the right. So there we are. What a crowd. It is superb. We're live here in our stands. Hey, that's you on the big screen. That's you on the big screen. Give us a wave. Come on. I love it. Okay, we're waiting for news on that horse. He's, is he going to run or not? He will run. Ah, now, there is going to be a slight delay here. We have just heard that the horse is going to run. Cobra is going to run. But... While he was galloping around, he tore a shoe off. And that means there's going to be a slight delay. So the blacksmith, the blacksmith is going to put another shoe on. He can do that in a couple of minutes, but then he's got to get down to the start. So this is going to be interesting. So that means that there is going to be a delay here of, I would think, between five and ten minutes. So do bear with us, because this is going to be good.
By the way, lovely to see the ambassador here from the United Arab Emirates Embassy, and that, of course, is in Brussels. And he was telling me that there are over 300 embassies in Brussels, over 70,000 diplomats, and that's more than in New York. And he was telling me also earlier that Emirates are going to start flying to Brussels daily from September the 5th. Here's the jockey coming back. She's all right. This is Ali de Bartoli from uh, Italy. This is the student from Venice. She's pretty fast in a gondola, and she's pretty fast on a horse. But she's got to be reunited with a horse, and the horse is just coming out. Well, it will be very soon. They're just uh, putting the shoe on, the racing plates. It's like when you and I go running for a jog in the morning. We put our plimsolls, our trainers on, and it's just the same with horses. They've got to run in light shoes. And there she is, Ali de Bartoli. Ali, are you okay? Give us a wave. Yes, well done. Well, it's an interesting start to Ali. What's the ground like, Ali? Is it pretty firm or pretty soft? <laughs> Perhaps that was a silly question. Well, tremendous racing tonight, and it's great to be back in Ostend. Later on, of course, we've got the big race, the Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan Cup. It's a listed race for the purebred Arabians over one circuit of the track. Nine furlongs. But that's to come. Our first live race on Abu Dhabi TV is this Sheikh Fatima bin Mubarak Ladies World Championship. It was due to start at 7.25 local time. If you're watching around the world, it's 7.30 in the evening here in Ostend in Belgium. And despite the weather, we've got a, a near capacity crowd. Weather not so good. It was quite nice earlier on. It got up to 19 degrees centigrade. It ain't that now. Oh, look, we've got squirrels running on the track. Look at that. Oh, little rabbits. I don't know if you can see those on the big screens. We've got some little, little rabbits. Oh, lovely. I hope they get out of the way before the horses come. So there's the rabbits coming out to watch the races. Oh, look at them. And the ferrets. As, look, there they go, and the squirrels. This, of course, is where they live. In the middle of this massive seaside city, if you like, We've got lovely animals down there. Isn't that incredible? I've never seen that on a race course before. Uh, terrific. We've also got the Emirates girls here, of course, who will be flying from September the 5th from Dubai daily to Brussels. And if you've never flown on Dubai Air Emirates, you have missed out. It really is superb. And by the way, the fact that they're going to be flying daily here from September the 5th will create nearly another 1,000 jobs for people who live in, in Belgium. And that's got to be good news. And if you ever get the chance to go on holiday to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, United Arab Emirates, please do. It's one of the safest places in the world. The sun always shines. And you always get a great big welcome when you arrive. And of course, if you fly in Emirates, wow, it's luxury all the way. Well, we're waiting for the Italian to get back on her horse, and then we'll be ready to go with this Belgian round of the Ladies' World Championship. The final will take place in Abu Dhabi in November, the second week in November. And please, if you'd like to come, please do. I'd love to say I can give you a free ticket, but I can't. But if you would like to come, you'll be made very, very welcome. And uh, many members of the royal family turn up they're great supporters of horsey equestrian events, not just racing, show jumping, and of course, endurance, where Sheikh Mohammed of Dubai is the reigning world champion. So much look forward to at the World Equestrian Games coming up at Normandy in the next few weeks, so stacks to look forward to. But what about racing here in Belgium? Nikki is our commentator here. And I'm just going to pass my microphone to Nikki, who's going to tell you more about racing here in Belgium. It's for Abu Dhabi this year. Well, in Belgium, it's the case that we have uh, five race courses at the moment, but most of them are harness racing. That's more popular in Belgium at the uh, race courses at Waregem or Kurne Tongeren, and uh, the big occasion uh, in Mons. And at the race course in Mons, there is also 
thoroughbred racing, sometimes apart from the Wat Bas Stud Farm Cup, we have some races for Arabian thoroughbreds. But here in Ostend, that's our main season. That's 11 meetings with big crowds. Today at Ostend, we are with more than 10,000 people. And uh, with lots of festivities, it's also one of the great occasions during the week. A mixed meeting with harness racing and races for English thoroughbreds and now Arabian horse race meetings. And uh, the crowds enjoy all the big things that are happening here at Ostend. And uh, it's one of the big things during our summer. Our big summer day is, of course, at Waragem. In two weeks' time, we have at Waragem national hunt racing with the Grand Steeplechase of Flanders. And the Grand Steeplechase of Flanders is a bit like our Belgian Grand National. It's a steeplechase race, uh, nearly three miles, with uh, most of them the French horses who are running. And uh, that's at the 2nd of September with a crowd of more than 40,000 people. The big racing day in our country. But here in Austin, we're back with number uh, eight. It's Cobra, who is back in business. And the Italian jockey Ali De Portoli will come into the saddle in a couple of minutes. Uh, Cobra is uh, the horse who is uh, fit and well to run in this sprint. So uh, it's good news for all the Cobra fans. Yeah, that is that is good news. But I think they're going. Are they going to run the horse down to the start? Wow, that is a, a long way. And the jo uh, hang on, the jockey's here. Hang on, the jockey's here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got the jockey here. Whoa, the jockey is here behind you. Yes, well done. Now then, Ali Di Bartoli from Italy is hopefully going to get back on, and hopefully Cobra will not mess around now you, if you jump on and we'll go down to the start good luck ali well if you've just tuned in you're watching abit abby tv this is tomo and we are live in ostend and it's all happening here on the track next to the beach in this uh, lovely lovely ostend i'm sorry about the weather it's a bit dark and we had a bit of thunder and lightning a few minutes ago but if you've just tuned in this is the horse co uh, this is the horse uh, cobra who dislodged ali and uh, it's going to be interesting. Oh, they're going to give her a lift down to the start, are they? In a car. Good, that's a great idea. Who's got a car that can give her a lift down to the start? I love it. Lay it on straight away. Here comes the starter's car. The starter's car is coming. Now, that means the jockey's going to get a lift, but, of course, the horse can't. So he's going to... That stable lad looking after this horse, Cobra, he could run in the 100 meters for Belgium in the Olympics. He's doing really well. If the horse wins, he's going to have to get back pretty quick to lead the horse in. So full marks to the starter. He's going to put Ali de Bartoli. He's going to say, hey, do you want a lift? Thank you very much. She goes in. She goes down in the rather expensive looking four-wheel drive. And the horse is jogging down to the start. So what can we tell you about some of the riders here as they go down? Well, we've got Rachel Leishan representing Great Britain. She's from Wales. She works for trainer Tim Vaughan, and she's 20 years of age. And she rides Attila de Rues in the light blue and red diamonds. Representing Austria is Caro Stumner. She is a teacher. She has nine wins. She's 23 years of age. She rides Magwell. Cobra, you know all about. Ali de Bartoli from Italy, the student from Venice. Frasser de Cossack is ridden by Ali Elmskirk from Sweden. And she is uh, from Stockholm, and she is a student, and she's 24 years of age and has had seven winners. Saudi Jano in the pink with the white sleeves. Fatima Almanji rides this from Oman, 26 years of age, 11 winners. In the black colors sits Bima DA, Emily Peterson. She's a professional jockey from Denmark. Next one is Vizier de Faust, written by Justine Mercier from France. She's 21 years of age. And of all the riders we've ever had in this Sheikha Fatima bin Mubrak Ladies World Championship, we've never had a stonemason before. Yep, she is the girl with the hammer and chisel, and she chisels out the names in the stone. Justine Mercier from France. She rides Vizier de Faust. 
Nabucco is written by Michelle Blumenau from Germany. She's a student, 24 years of age, 16 wins. Now, the change of colors in the white colors is Victor, written by Sylvia Bakos from Hungary. She's a professional jockey from Budapest, and she's had 22 wins. In the dark green with white sleeves, the horse is called Shema Cardabia. This is written by Lucia Gelaber from Spain. She's from Madrid. She's a teacher. She's 22 years of age, and she's had seven wins. And in the blue with the white sleeves and the blue cap, Palmer T, written by Kathy Fortune from Norway, 25 years of age, and she's going back to have a ride in the Norwegian Derby next weekend, and that uh, could be a very good ride for her. So the horse is just about back to the start. I don't know how Cobra's going to get on after completing two circuits of the track at the full gallop. Might be a bit tired, but the jockey awaits, and very soon we'll be off with this penultimate round for a Highness Sheikh Fatima. Bin Mubarak, Ladies World Champion. As I said, it's so good to see the ambassador here tonight, Lara Sawaya, who organizes this Round the World series for Sheikh Fatima, Sheikh Mansour, and Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan is here. And she has brought guests from all over the world. They've flown in on Emirates, and they'll be traveling on to Warsaw in Poland, where next week we have the final round. So it won't be too long. The horse is at the start, and we're ready to load. Horse is loading. Horses are now loading up. First one to go in the starting stalls will be Frasa Kosak, one of the first to be led forward. The jockey about to get back up on Cobra. The others going in already and in stall two towards the left is Magua. And Victor's jockey is still to get up, Sylvia Bakos from Hungary in the all-white Colors. If you notice all white colors, that's uh, Victor. If you backed Victor, and, and she has the Belgian colors as a cap, so that that will be very very interesting. The uh, betting here, very interesting. One two three could be one two three. It seems to be plenty of support for Frasa Cossack, Sardegiano, and Nabucco, so it's going to be interesting. Half of the field are in. Stand by. This race is over five furlongs. Whatever you do, don't blink because she'll miss it. Still out the back door in the green and white is Shema Kadabia. That's still to go in. Four out. Four more left to be put in. For this, the Belgian rounds of the Her Highness Sheikh of Fatima Bint Mumarak Ladies World Championship. One horse playing up out the back door at the moment. And that is uh, Victor, who hasn't got a, a jockey on at the moment. That's the horse who has a big sheepskin noseband. And there's a rabbit on the track at the moment. There goes a squirrel. Goodness me. There goes another squirrel. Hey, I've never seen that. And if you're watching on TV, at the bottom right-hand side, there's a rabbit just munching his tea. I better watch out because you're going to have 11 horses thundering towards you any second now. Three to go. Three to go. And ladies and gentlemen, give them a big cheer, these girls. Whichever horse you fancy, give them all a big cheer. Just about to go in, we've got Shema Kadabia, who's going to go into ten. Seven is still free at the moment. That is Vizira Faust. And here comes Cobra. Last one to go in. Just about ready. Stand by. Five furlongs is the trip. Cobra, Ali de Bartoli from Italy. If she can win on this, it'll be the ride of the century. The last one to be led forward. This race over the straight, five furlongs, 1,000 meters, five-eighths of a mile in all money. They're all in. Stand by. And... They're off. Here we go. The big race. And the one who was last to leave the starting stalls, would you believe, was Cobra. On the left, on the far side, one who got a good start was Attila de Ruiz. Also showing plenty of speed is Frasser Cossack. Here towards the stand side in the black and gold hoops is Vizier de Fos. On the heels of the leaders, Palmer T. On the extreme right, it's Shema Kada Bia. At the end of the first two furlongs, three furlongs left to run. And in the middle, Frasser de Cossack has the lead. In the black and gold hoops, Vizier de Fos towards the far side. That one there is Attila de Ruiz. Here in the 
green and white. Shimakada Beer comes to challenge. The behind this is Palmer T. Behind Palmer T is Nabucco. Then Satijano. And under pressure towards the rear is Cobra. That'll be doing very well. Magor is also towards the rear as well. Here they come down now towards the final two furlongs. 400 meters making a move on the left is Satijano's coming to challenge. Fraser Cossack. On the right here comes Shema Kada Beer. Here they come inside the final furlong. Fraser Cossack has the lead. Shema Kada Beer stands side. On the left it's Fraser Cossack. On the stand side Shema Kada Beer. Shema Kada Beer is coming very late and coming very fast. Shema Bada Kia wins for Spain. In second place was Fraser Cossack. These two dominated the race. From a long way back, Victor might have got through to be third. Yeah, Victor came through to be third. And in fourth was Palmer T. But no doubt about the winner. And that was Shema Carter Beer, ridden by Lucia Galibert for Spain, the teacher from Madrid. She has done it, and she's ridden a superb race. In second place, we have Fraser Cossack, ridden by Eddie Emerskog for Sweden. And then in third place, the third horse was Victor. Victor, good old Victor, finished third, ridden by Sylvia Bacos for Hungary. She comes from Budapest. And in fourth was Palmer T, ridden by Kathy Fortune from Norway. So that is the result of the Belgian round. And what a race. Fraser Cossack tried to burn him off. But up on the outside, it was the grey, Shema Kada Beer, who came late and fast and landed the spoils in tremendous style. And what a result this is. Shema Kada Beer, trained by um, Pia Holm, and this is a, a real good performance. Trains in Sweden, owned, and uh, I, I like this horse, has done very, very well indeed. And owned by the uh, Libyan-born Walid Ben Zaid. So, well done to the Libyans for breeding this purebred Arabian and winning over the flying five furlongs and coming home in style. And by the way, mentioned for Cobra, Cobra wasn't last, beat two home, but that's a good performance. So, what a thrilling race. Apologies about the delay, but they all took part, they all finished. And I tell you what finished best of all, Victor finished third on the outside with the Hungarian girl. But no doubt about the winner, Shema Kadabia, the lady from Spain, Madrid. She's a teacher, 22 years of age. She did have seven wins. She's now got eight wins. Making her way back towards the... And here's the winner in the dark green and white, the girl with the biggest smile in the world, Lucia Galabert from Spain. She'll be flying on Emirates to Abu Dhabi in November to compete in the final of the Sheikh of Fatima bin Mubarak Ladies World Championship. One more round to go. And that's next week. And that's in Poland. But do come and join us in the winner's enclosure and please give this horse a great big cheer when the horse comes back. Lovely this. Absolutely superb. Bred in Libya, trained in Sweden, and winning under a Spanish-born jock here in Belgium. The smiles tell the story. Absolutely superb. The horse is just coming back now. You can see the horse in the, in the green and white. His Excellency the Ambassador is there, flanked by the Emirates girls. Lara Sawayer is ready to put the rug on the winner in the winner's enclosure. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to the winner of the Sheikh of Fatima Ladies World Championship, the round here in Belgium. She's just coming back now in the green and white colors. Please give a big round of applause to Lucia Galibert from Spain and Shema Kada Bia.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اذا مشاهدينا الكرام قبل لحظات انتهت احدى جولات بطوله العالم لسمو الشيخه فاطمه بنت مباركه للسيدات الجوله الثانيه عشر الف الف مبروك للفارسه لوسيا على ظهر الفرس شيماء كرداتيا اذا فازت على ظهر الفرس شيماء نحن مشاهدينا الكرام الان بانتظار الفارسه وتقام مراسم تتويج الف الف مبروك الفارسة لوسية اذا الفارسة لوسية مشاهدينا الكرام في هذه اللحظات تصل الف الف مبروك الفارسة لوسية الف الف مبروك لمالك الخيل الان تتم مراسم التتويج مشاهدينا الكرام بالنسبة لل فارسة الفائزة بهذا السباق في بطولة العالم اسمه الشيخة فاطمة بنت مبارك للسيدات في الجولة الثانية عشر لمسافة ألف متر مشاهدينا الكرام كان سباقا سريعا. ديريك ناو اتس ذا برزنتيشن تايمينج سو از يو سيد ات واز لايك فيري سبرنتر ريس فاست ريس اند نو بدي اكسبكتد نمبر 10 تو ان ذا ريس. نو بدي اكسبكتد ذيس هورس دونت فورجيت واز بريد ان ليبيا سو اتس ا جريت ريزولت فور ليبيا از ويل شيز جيفن ذيس ان اوت ستاندينغ ريس. Right. Lucia Gelaber from Madrid in Spain. They've got a very good racetrack there called Zazuela Racetrack in Madrid. Place I've been to. They've got some pretty good football teams over in Madrid as well. But she's 22 years of age. She's a teacher and she's now had eight wins. It is absolutely outstanding. And she rode that like a real top class professional. This girl is good. Lucia will see her in Abu Dhabi then, Derek? Yes, without a doubt. And there were no hard luck stories. Fraza Cossack ran its usual good race. Uh, Victor came very late on the scene. It was good to see a Cobra taking part after the girl had been dumped. But isn't this marvellous now? And there is Lara Sawyer and Nelly, of course, who does so much for racing in purebred Arabians in Belgium. She's helping as well. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Uh, Derek, uh, so we were talking about uh, this race, the sprinter, uh, 1,000 meters. It was a very fast race, Derek. Derek, tell us, everybody was looking at Fraser Cossack and Sartigano. I know. Well, they all had the chances, but they just couldn't do anything. It was simple as that. Uh, five furlongs, they might need further. That's the thing. Five furlongs, you've got to get the trip, but at the same time, you've got to be fast. And they just weren't fast enough. No hard luck stories. Shema, Kada, Bia did the business. Absolutely superb. And I think it's wonderful. And you know what I like? You know what I like? Just look at the people around here. You can't see this, but the parade on the other side, there were about 10 deep. When the winner came in, it shows you how popular this series is becoming. Not, and the, the girls here and the families, we have the kids jumping up and down. I like all that. The, the family, they're the future race goers, and that is what it's about. And it's fantastic, this. I don't know if you can turn around and just look at the presentation ceremony. It is superb. And uh, this girl, should we get her over for a quick chat? We'll get, we'll get her over, but let them take the pictures and all yes. we'll go to her. Here she's coming yeah, now. She's coming, she's, she's coming. coming. Here she comes. She's lovely. You would like to ask her and then I'll take the ambassador. You yes. would like to ask her? I will. Oh, this <laughs> yeah. is lovely. Come on. Because you, because you. Ambassador. Tamil. سعادت سفير في المملكة البلجيكا سعادة سفير رحبك على قناة أبو ظبي الرياضية سعادتك متواجدين هنا جماهير طيبة أجواء راعة نوعا ما باردة بالنسبة لنا كيف شهدت هذا السباق مشاركة السيدات توجد بفوز الفارسة الإسبانية أنا في البداية أبارك للفارسة الإسبانية ومبروك للملاك الخيل وسعيدين بهذا الحدث الرياضي المتميز في الحقيقة أصبحت سباقات الخيول في أوستند يعني مستمرة بشكل متنامي وإن شاء الله أنها تستمر إلى الأفضل مدينة جميلة خدمات رائعة وعشرة آلاف متفرج مهرجان سيد سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد ال نهيان العالمي للخيول العربية الأصيلة يتواجد في أغلب مدن العالم في أغلب عواصم العالم سعادتك أهمية مثل هذه السباقات في تواجد مثل هذه المدن الكبيرة بلا شك ان رياضه الخيول اصبحت الان جزء كبير من استراتيجيه السفاره في دعم العلاقات بين دوله الامارات وبلجيكا واعتقد ان هذا السباق بالاخص اصبح لشعبيه واصبح يعني يعطي سمعه افضل وفكره افضل عن دوله الامارات وعن شيوخنا وان شاء الله انه يكون للافضل دائما ان شاء الله. السفير سليمان المزروعي سفير المملكه البلجيكيه اشكرك جزيل الشكر على الدقائق على مباشره. شكرا لكم مشكرا. لوسيا تيل مي هاو واز ذا ريس اند وات واز ذا انستراكشن فروم يور ترينر اند يو ديد ذيس نايس فيكتوري وينينج ذيس بيوتي تروفي. 
Yes, uh, there is very nice race. It's my first time that I ride Arabian horses, yeah. and I like. I How was like. the experience? How, what's the difference? The experience is different. The horse, the horses are different, and the pace of the race are different. But the, mm, yes. I like. I am joy because I. Congratulations, Mitu Abu Dhabi. Thank you. With the most amazing climb in the last few days, we have been able to see the most amazing climb in the last few days. Mitu Abu Dhabi, the President of the Arab Emirates, the President of the Arab Emirates, and also the President of the Arab Emirates, the President of the Arab Emirates, the President of the Arab Emirates. Lara, the Fatah of the Spain, also won the prize for the most beautiful climb in Belgium. اليوم مثل ما بتعرف انه بتوجه هيك سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد ان هي نحط سباق ببلجيكا كرمال دعم سباقات الخيول العربيه والله يطول بعمرها سمو الشيخ خافات متمبارك ام العالم يلي ساعدت كل هالصبايا اللي شفتهم عم يتكاتروا من كل البلدان صار عنا ما شاء الله 200 بنت من العالم مشاركين لا نهاية العالم بأبو ظبي عاصمة العالم للخيول العربية هذا رقم كتير كبير رقم قياسي ما شافه العالم بالنسبة للفتاة والامرأة في الخيول العربية واليوم إسبانيا تضاف للفاينلز بس مفاجأة الكبيرة رح تكون ببولندا الفتاة الهندية حتكون على موعد مع أكبر بطولة بالعالم يلي هي بطولة العالم لسمو الشيخافات من تنبارك أم العالم الفتاة الهندية هي فتاة بروفاشنال برصيدة أكبر الجوائز واليوم العالم حيشوفها تشارك بأهم بطولة العالم للزيدات هي بطولة العالم لأم العالم بعد الحوادث إن شاء الله سوف ينطلق كأس المغفور له بإذن الله تعالى كأس الشيخ زايد بن سلطان آل نهيان هذا السباق وما تنوهين المشاهدين الكرام عن هذا السباق سباق مهم إجا خيول من كل أوروبا في اليوم رح يكون في كومبتيشن كتير قوية بين الخيول لأنه مثل ما بتعرف في منهم ربحانين قبل سباق شيخ زايد بغير بلدان واليوم إن شاء الله الله يعطيهم يوافقهم وما تنسى أنه بلجيكا مكان مناسب لكل الخيول تجي لأنه قريبة من كل أوروبا وهي بتتوسط يعني إن كان بلجيكا أم سوري هولندا أم فرنسا كتير قريبين منا وكل ألمانيا قريبين منا ليجوا يشاركوا فيها اليوم الخيول قوية وبفتكر على منافسة كتير كبيرة والله يوفق لكل الناس بننقل هذا السباق على هواء مباشرة وبيكون لنا حديث بعد نهاية هذا السباق لا الله أكيد ومنشكر سعة السفير سفر الموجود مع الموجودين مع أنا سعد السفير سليمان المزروعي على كل الدعم اللي عطانا إياه هو وباقي كل الطاقم الموجود من السفارة من الشيخ حمد وكل الباقيين شكرا جزيلا وكمان بنشكر سعادة السفير ناتو النقبي يلي موجود معنا كمان من اجى من دوفيل ليحضر السباق شكرا لكل اللي عم بيدعم مهرجان سمو الشيخ منصور بن زايد أنا وخاصة تلفزيون أبو شكرا لك شكرا لك شكرا لك اذا مشاهدينا الكرام متواصلين معكم على الهواء مباشره بعد لحظات سوف ينطلق السباق الثاني ولتغطيتنا في السباق الثاني مشاهدينا الكرام كاس المغفور له باذن الله تعالى كاس الشيخ زايد بن سلطان ال نهيان في جولته العاشره اذا مشاهدينا الكرام الخيول المشاركه في هذا السباق ثمانيه خيول لمسافه 1800 متر بعد لحظات ديريك تومسون سوف يلتحق معنا ديريك تومسون سوف يتواجد معنا هنا للحديث كما تحدثنا عن بطوله العالم سمو الشيخ فاطمة بنت مبارك مشاهدينا الكرام ثمانية مشاركات الفرسان من الفرسان المحترفين فرسان محترفين سوي يشاركون في هذا السباق أبرز المرشحين مشاهدينا الكرام فريزر كوساك عفوا فريزر كوساك كان من المرشح في بطولة العالم باسم الشيخة فاطمة بنت مبارك للسيدة أبرز المرشحين أيضا من عائلة كوساك سبيد كوساك بولين كوساك يعني عائلة كوساك من العوائل المعروفة في سباقات الخيول العربية الأصيلة وخاصة هنا في الجولات الأوروبية أثلتك دلسول أيضا أحد المرشحين في هذا السباق وأيضا غزل تي مرشح في هذا السباق أربع مرشحين أقوياء في هذا السباق مشاهدينا الكرام فصل ونواصل تغطيتنا لبطولة العالم لسمو الشيخ فاطمة بنت مبارك للسيدة الذي نقال لكم على الهواء مباشرة في الجولة الثانية عشر وأيضا كأس المغفور له بإذن الله تعالى كأس الشيخ زايد بن سلطان آل نهيان في الجولة العشر فاصل ونواصل مشاهدينا الكرام
يجتمع الشباب في أعلى مستويات المنافسة ضمن دورة الألعاب الأولمبية للشباب في نانتشينغ دورة الألعاب الأولمبية نانتشينغ 2014 على قنوات مطابية الرياضية نأخذكم خارج الحلبة وخلف الكواليس في البطولة القتالية الأبرز في العالم الجوانب الشخصية لكل مقاتل أسرار التمارين الخاصة وتغطية مميزة لكل خطايا البطولة العالمية المجلة الخاصة التي تقدم لكم كل ما يتعلق باليو اف سي في هذه الأوقات على أبطال الرياضية And then they will come around with over a circuit. It's about one and a quarter circuits of this track. They're already going down to the start. In the blue and white is Gazelle T. Down the far side, ridden by Gaeta Falcon from France. He's ridden over 400 winners. Top jockey lives in Chantilly, which is the new market of France. Here they come. First one to go down with the red cap is Poulain Cossack. Andrea Helfenburn from Germany on board. Two Cossacks in this. Pulling Cossack wears the red cap. The blue cap on the screen now is Speed Cossack, ridden by Toon van der Troost from Belgium. The former champion and a very, very popular jockey here.